Hello. Did you ever want to write a book? I actually did it a few times. Before I started with my first book, I wanted to write a book and at the same time I did not want it. Sounds schizophrenic? Not so much. Because the reason holding me back is actually the only reason for you not to write a book. So what is that reason? Right after this. At that time of my inner conflict, there were very good books in my field of expertise, decision making. The question I ask myself, why should I write a book that people can already buy? I think that is a completely reasonable question. I know some people would argue that competition is the heart of every market. But do you really want to put your time in something that is merely a copy of someone else's work? <laughs> okay, I know that is a naive question. I know too much people who would wholeheartedly cry, yeah! But that is not my idea. If your product's only advantage is your marketing, you are in a strategic hole. I believe in making a real difference. And that meant to write a different kind of book. Yes, I wanted to write a book, but only if the content was different from what you could buy already. And as fate wanted it, the moment came. I had observed a few decision-making shortcuts people made that might have disastrous side effects. I call these decision-making traps and I wrote a book about it. 15 decision-making traps and how to avoid them. A very renowned publishing house took me under contract and the rest is history. Well, so I think of it. Winning the publishing house for my book idea was easy, since it was different from everything you could buy at that time. I'm not sure if the publisher had gone into that risk, if I offered a generic Me Too book. I would like to share a secret with you. Because I see you already writing a book about something you are good in since your childhood or something like that. Ask yourself, who would buy my book? People who know this stuff already or people who lack the skill and want to acquire it by reading your book? Of course, the latter one. And that is the thing. If you are good in this by nature and talent, you are most probably not a good teacher for this. I hate to break this foot to you, but you wouldn't understand what people go through who are not favored by nature for this, who really have to work hard for this. So you can't help them getting started. You might be helpful for people who are already good at this and want to become a star. But this group is usually very small. Write about something that you had to acquire over years. Something you had to fight for, to become good in. And you are still fighting to become better. Because then you know the ins and outs. You can show shortcuts and you can share your experience. It will be a book worth reading. Despite what you are thinking, writing a book is really easy. Think about what you want to tell your readers. Then think what you will have to explain them. Then think about which examples you can share to bring your explanations to life. Find a way how to connect everything and order it in a way that it is easiest to grasp by new readers. Now you have your book and of course after coming thus far you will change everything. 
That is the beauty of the process. If you write everything down you know, you find new insights you were not aware before. So naturally, you will have to change your book accordingly. After a few cycles, your book will be a masterpiece. Exactly what your readers deserve. Writing a book will change you. More than visiting a school, a seminar or a coaching. Because what you write about is already inside you. As an author, you mine your hidden treasures. You have no idea how much you, your self-appreciation will grow in you with every new discovery. A time like this, when you can't go out, is optimal for writing a book. Always provided you meet the other conditions first. Have fun. See you tomorrow.